Hello everyone and welcome to the ninth episode of the Diary of an Endodontist. If you are not following us yet, please subscribe to our channel. We are going to discuss lots of tips and tricks and if you like that, if you want to enhance your knowledge and develop your clinical skills, this is the series for you, so stay tuned. Today, we are going to talk about the cases that you have difficulties when you take an x-ray. It could be because of a landmark that is hiding the canal, or it could be like a plate, for example. In this case, a plate when the patient had the orthogenetic surgery, that titanium plate was screwed in, in that area. And this tooth, as you can see, was referred to us because there was probably deep caries in the past and the pulp got contaminated and became necrotic. And now the patient is in pain. And you can see on the, the, the x-ray the that there is a periradicular radiolucency. This area is covered and the dentist didn't have the facility of a CBCT and was not feeling too comfortable to carry on with the root canal treatment. If you have the opportunity to take a CBCT, that is much better because then you can uh, rotate your, your um, X-ray and you can see in three dimensional and you'll be able to distinguish what is the plate and where the apex is and how many canals there are. But you have, if you haven't got that option, you have to remember that this plate is positioned buccally to the tooth. And if you want to take an X-ray, you shouldn't do the parallel technique. If when you take the parallel technique, if you have that covering the apex, you need to angle the, the X-ray cylinder so you can take that plate out of your view, so completely out of the apex line. So compensate that with the x-ray and you'll be able to see the apex. In this case, you thought probably that the canals were joined. And when we, we move that interference out of the apical portion, we can see that the apex is more complex than we thought, although is, it looks like a uniradicular tooth. It's completely different than the six, for example, that has two or three roots, in this case, three canals at least visible on the PA. Again, if you take a CBCT, you, you can see that in advance, but I understand that it's not a reality to every practice. It's getting there, but it's still sometimes difficult. So try to angle your X-ray, even if you are using the holder and change techniques, use the parallax technique, for example, where you can compensate that image. So the root canal treatment was done and you can see that the access was just occlusal. If it's just occlusal and you have like a good bonding, a good strong composite uh, core in that area and the patient is not a bruxist and there is no risk of fracturing that tooth, you don't need to have that tooth crowned. So I would say be as more conservative as possible. It's not every tooth that had a root canal treatment done that will need uh, a crown. So in this case, as soon as we finished the root canal treatment, the patient was uh, having like, it was getting a lot more comfortable, the tooth. In six month time, the tooth was very comfortable back into function. And you can see that the area is healing. So pay attention in this area, because if you don't have the CBCT, you don't know if this is part of the lesion or if this is a, a less corticated bone, so it's the trabeculous bone. If you check the two years review, you can see that same color 
is over there and over there. So I would say this is not part of the lesion. And you can see the lamina dura around of this area in the two years uh, review. So I would say that is uh, a tooth that the root canal treatment has been completely successful. The tooth is back into function. And uh, I think if you just have that in mind in terms of the x-ray to make your life easier, not only during pre-op and during the treatment, but also for your reviews. I hope you are enjoying our cases and finding it very useful and that you have now started to use lots of tips and tricks into your daily routine. So if you want to hear more about those cases or if you want me to discuss more cases, different ones, you can, you can put in the comments below. And I, I would like also to thank you all for participating to our group our group discussion is being wonderful to see lots of you here thank you very much and please stay tuned you take care